Hey guys, it's Eric from Pin Pioneer, and in this video I'm going to talk about version 1014, which is the latest current version, and catch you up on some of the things we've included here and in the previous couple of days, because we constantly updates, constantly lots of cool stuff happening, and sometimes you, know, you can lose track. So this is an easy way to stay up to date, to find out how to use the new features, to find out how they're beneficial to you and to your business. Now to begin, I want to talk about the little tag feature here. If you're familiar with tags, you can use tags to make the program search for specific, you know, in specific ways through Pinterest. Sometimes they become hard to remember. So if you just type in a tag like so under pins, this will bring back the applicable tags to that search function. If you type it under people, it will give you the other tags and so forth. So pins and people are the primary um, search functions that tags are used for. In this case, if you go to pins, the popular tag will retrieve 50 of the most popular pins for that day, and the category, uh, uh, the category tag will retrieve all the pins for that day under your category. In this case, if my niche is weddings, I'll hit weddings, I'll hit scrape, and it'll retrieve a bunch of pins for that category. It's just more targeted that way than putting in keywords potentially. Um, just a note: make sure that when you type in your category name which is this part right here, that it is exactly how it's written here. It has to be you know, case sensitive, so how it's written here, and you have to use any ands and that kind of stuff that are included. Okay? Um, next, if we go back, likewise, I'm sure you're familiar by this point, people, if you go back here, this will retrieve all your followers, and this will retrieve all the people that are following you. That you are following, sorry. So. There you go. Pretty simple. Just remember to if use the hashtag if you ever forget that the tags are applicable. They're um, you know, available. Next, uh, let's talk about boards. We now have a new search function called boards, and this lets you scrape directly from a board. So in this case, let's say my niche is skateboarding. I type in skateboarding. It will bring you back a dozen or so, maybe more, boards. In this case, significantly more skateboarding boards from a specific user. What I can do then is just check whichever board I want to use. First, I can check it out if I want. I can go open the URL. This will open up that board, as you can see, right? So, and this will give me all his pins. If I'd like to use that, I can just right click boards, scrape pins. And now this will bring back all the URLs of all the pins he's got pinned in his board. And then I can use these to do whatever I want with. I can select them all. I can comment them, I can like them, I can export them, I can you know repin them back to my profile. Lots of exciting things I can do. It's very, very, very cool, very crafty, uh, if I could say so myself. Okay, so that's the boards feature, pretty simple. Now the next one is importing. We now support importing of images from your desktop. First, first version that lets you do this, very cool. Go import pictures and type, you know, select any picture you want, maybe or maybe multiple. Okay, and it'll import your photos. Give them a description of some kind, cool stuff, whatever, you know. Select the ones you want to use, and likewise, go ahead and start pin. It'll post it to your board, it'll post it to a newly created board, in any case. Um, and you can upload as many people, as many pictures as you want from your desktop. The reason we do this is because a popular pastime, so to speak, in the internet marketing community is to download a bunch of images, in this case from Pinterest or another photo website, water watermark them using another software, in this case Photoshop potentially, soon to be Pin Pioneer, and then re-upload them back to Pinterest. We take care of the second half, which is re-uploading back to Pinterest with your URLs, with your descriptions, with your um, source URLs, all that kind of stuff, spun included in your post. Okay, so in this case, let me just go back to here, for instance. I can say, yeah, whatever I want. Hit start pin. I can use this my source URL, software syndicate. Just zero and zero. Hit start pin. Obviously, since we're uploading these photos now, upload speeds depend on how big the images are, how if they're big, small, etc., megabytes, um, and how many you have. Whereas with URLs, it's instant, it's much quicker. But nonetheless, as you can see, it's very, very quick. Upload, bang, 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 
and it should be done in another two or three seconds. The next thing I want to talk to you about is importing URLs with descriptions. So in this case, we only imported a picture, right? So we just imported the image file. What if I wanted to import a picture along with a description? Now, since you can't actually import, since you can't actually Im embed a description to a JPEG file, what we have to do is import a text file with image locations along with a description. Okay. Um, to do that, we do the following. We import these two images, for instance. We go export URLs and titles. Okay, like so. Let's say test. Okay. And now we have, you know, um, the URLs set up pretty simply. Here we put in our description. We can say, hey, this is a koala. This is a koala. This is a jellyfish. Okay, pretty cool, right? Hit save. Now, if we go back to here and we import URLs and titles this time, test, it brings back the two same images. Now we have a description we can use. And if we do this, the same rules apply. We can automatically include that description here. We can use our source URLs. We can do really whatever we want. It's very, very accurate and it gives you so much control. Um, in fact, more control than any other application out there right now. Just to give you an example of our earlier updates, uh, upload, sorry. If we go to here, we can see that this is the koala photo, the description's here, cool stuff, and it uses my source URL, and likewise. Excellent, right? So, we're almost done. Next thing I want to talk to you about is following people. I know I covered following other people in the previous video, but since then we've had a new feature included, and that's following the people of people, if you can kind of follow, see what I'm saying. To do that, let's go people, and let's type in any niche, in this case, any keyword. Um, let's go use weddings again, for instance. Okay, weddings, this will bring back a bunch of people in that niche. Now what we can do, if we want to scrape back all their followers to get, again, a more targeted, accurate user base, select these, right click, people scrape followers to make sure we can go and open the URL first see who this person is see who her, her followers are in this case she's got 613 followers excellent right click people scrape followers and the beauty about this again unlike any other application we have no limits on how much you can follow on how much you can scrape back so hit scrape followers and this is going to return all 613 back in or, you know, over the next minute or so. Granted, it has to circle through the pages and whatnot, but you get the idea. So as you can see now, the lists are being populated, and so forth. Very, very cool, right? So that's all, I believe, for this video. Um, please stay tuned for the next video where we include a bunch of other actual user um, case studies where we'll talk about how to make, make more money with this, how to um, expand your social spheres, how to expand your SEO, all that kind of stuff. So thanks and bye.